Hello everyone. Welcome to the Citrix Converge edition of 2020. My name is Nitin Mehta and I work as a product manager for virtual apps and desktop service. And along with me, I have Bala Swaminathan, who is the engineering manager for virtual apps and desktop service. Today, we're going to talk about automated configuration for virtual apps and desktops. So let's get started. Let me first start with what the vision is of this capability. Our vision with automated configuration is to automate all aspects of cloud configuration so that admins can really focus on their strategic initiatives rather than doing manual toil. So we want to start with migration from on-prem to cloud so that customers can migrate to cloud and remove any barriers that they face when they're transitioning to cloud. The second aspect is we want to automate all the operations in cloud and really showcase the value of cloud, you know, where, you know, all the operations are automated and, and, and uh, without having to do any manual toil. And third is like really simplifying disaster recovery, uh, you know, empowering admin to have complete control of their backup and recovery of the cloud side. So let's see how this tool works. This tool is delivered as an MSI. What you do is you kind of uh, download the tool on one of your machines, which is domain joined or, a, or, on, or an on-prem DDC. You run a simple command called export CVDAC to file. And what it does is it, it uh, you know, discovers this entire on-premise site uh, as a collection of YAML files. Um, and each YAML file represents one node that you see on the left side of the studio, meaning your configuration like catalogs, applications, policies, tags, icons, and so on. Once you have this collection of YAML files, you can now iteratively or stage or iteratively stage your migration and what that means is you you run a command called like merge command which you can kind of uh, import some of the configuration onto your cloud site um, you can migrate in terms of stages in terms of uh, less critical users or less critical applications first and then as you get confidence you can migrate other uh, other users applications and even more than one site, if you would like. Um, so it's a very, very simple and comprehensive tool to kind of do two things. One is to you know, uh, give you that flexibility to stage your migration. And second is if you, you can run this tool multiple times to achieve desired state configuration between your one or more than one on-premises site and your cloud site in terms of configuration. Now, now uh, as I said, right, I mean, the vision of this tool is not limited to migrating from on-premises to cloud. It's also, uh, you know, extendable in terms of, you know, uh, helping you migrate different aspects in the cloud itself. So if you have one or more than one cloud site uh, and you want to uh, migrate some of the configuration from your source cloud site to your destination cloud site, you can do that as well. There are two simple commands. You run a backup command. Uh, which backs up your existing source cloud site and all the configuration. And then you can restore uh, this backed up configuration to the destination site. Now you have the flexibility to choose what configuration would you like to move. Let's say out of 10 catalogs, you just want to move two catalogs or out of 20 policies, you just want to migrate five policies. You have the flexibility of mentioning those policies and migrating just those policies as well, um, giving you that staged uh, migration capability. Um, some of the reasons why we have seen customers using this capability within the cloud world is, let's say if they're hitting resource limits and they want to break down their configuration into two different cloud sites, or let's say if they want to achieve um, production site sync with their testing cloud site sync, um, and, and do it in an automated way, um, or let's say for disaster recovery capabilities. 
So let me summarize the benefits of this capability. The number one thing it does is it automates moving all your configuration from on-premise site to cloud site, and it is also extendable to migrate your configuration between cloud sites as well. Second, what configurations does it support? It moves all the configurations that you see on the left side of your studio, means uh, your applications, application groups, catalogs, delivery groups, policies, and so on. It's very, very customizable. Uh, it gives you the flexibility of exporting and importing in the manner you would like and the granularity that you would like. And it also allows you to back up and revert in case things don't go as planned. It's very, very extendable. It's it is meant to automate all your operations in the cloud. Um, so right from your day-to-day -day operations to you know disaster recovery, it can automate all those operations. And in terms of desired state configuration, we know that your on-premises site can also advance while you're doing this migration. And so uh, we allow this tool to be run multiple times so that you can achieve a desired state configuration between your on-prem site and your uh, CWAT service cloud site. I really want to quote some of the testimonies, really powerful testimonies that we have received from customer who have been able to use this tool uh, in our tech preview phase uh, for migration. They have really, really saved um, several months of toil and reduced it considerably uh, using this capability. And uh, I would like to let you guys read a couple of them that we have received. Uh, I would like to point you guys to some of the key resources that we have created. We have created a very, very detailed step-by-step -step proof of concept guide in TechZone, so please check it out. We have also uh, we also have a detailed documentation in our Citrix site. Uh, we have also created additional resources like troubleshooting FAQ and a discussion forum where you can provide us any feedback that you have, whether it be in terms of issues or enhancements or any other request that you might have. With that, I would uh, go over to demoing this tool now. So as I said, there are two parts to, uh, to this automated configuration. One is you are exporting your configuration from on-premises site. And then secondly, you are importing that configuration into your cloud site. So let's start. So in the export, configuration part there are three things you download and install the tool on an on-prem ddc or a domain joint D machine you run the export command and then you get the output as a collection of yaml files for the entire configuration so here's your on-prem site i'm showing delivery growth machine catalogs and application then your setup Now you download the MSI of the tool and install uh, through the wizard. And you will have the auto config icon shown uh, as you can see on the screen. Once you open that uh, icon, you just run the simple export command and you export the entire configuration. And you'll see the progress of each of the objects being exported. So you go to the log file location and you see this collection of YAML files and I'm opening the machine catalog YAML file to just show what exactly is exported uh, from running this export command. So you see all the properties and I'm just showing some of the names of the machine catalog that we exported here, RDF catalog, RPC catalog and um, the workstation catalog. Now going into the importing configuration uh, into the cloud. So you meet two prerequisites here. Then you run the import command. And finally, you verify the objects have gotten imported or not. 
So with the first prerequisite, what you do is you get all your customer information so that you can connect to the cloud side and push configuration into cloud. So here I'm creating a demo cloud. When you log into Citrix Cloud, you uh, go into the uh, API access part of it and create a demo client and create an ID and secret, which you copy. Now under the auto config folder, there's a customer info YAML file, which is auto generated as part of export. And you fill that file with all this information. So I've already pre-populated that information with the customer ID, client ID, and secret information that I gathered from uh, the current run. That was the first prerequisite. The second prerequisite is gathering your uh, resource location name and putting it into a zone mapping YAML file. So here I'm going to zone mapping YAML file. And I, uh, primary is the name of my zone on the on-premises side, and it's mapping to my resource location uh, onto the cloud side. Now I run the import command to import the configuration in the cloud. For each object, there is a creation part and then the verification part. So I got an overall success in importing the configuration. Now I go in the import folder to see basically, uh, you know, uh, the logs and and what exactly got imported. This is the entire configuration that got imported. One thing to note is there's a backup folder created before we import the entire configuration into the cloud. And if you look into the backup folder, what it does is it takes an import of whatever was existing before you started the import process so that you can revert back to this backup in case things do not work fine. So the final thing was to basically go into studio, uh, the cloud studio and check whether all, all these objects got created or not. So I'm showing the machine catalog, delivery groups and the applications that I showed in on-premises setup. And as you can see, they've been imported fine. So that concludes our demo. Um, so in this, to sum up, basically what we showed in the demo was how you basically export your configuration from the on-premise site uh, and then meet some prerequisites and finally run a simple command to import that configuration into the cloud. I also wanted to cover uh, the commandlets that we support with this tool. So let me uh, go over them. Um, for exporting all the configuration from your on-premises side, we have a single command called export command. For importing into the cloud, there are three different variants. Um, um, there is import command, there is a merge, and there is a new. Now the difference is the import command kind of tries to keep an exact replica of what you have in the on-premise site. So it will it will add a new configuration, it will update if there is a need to update, and even if it, uh, and it, it will even delete the configuration if that configuration does not exist on the on-premise site. So use this command carefully. Now then there is another variant called merge command. The merge command will only add or update the configuration in the cloud. It will not delete any configuration. So if you have any existing configuration in the cloud created manually um, or, or created through other site migration, it would not touch them unless there is a name collision. And the third command is called the new command, which is a more fail safe option. It will just add new configuration. It will not even update the configuration. So if you think 
you know you're putting in configuration from multiple sites and there can be name collision i would say basically new con new command would be the safest to use followed by merge followed by import then there is a single simple sync command if you want to do the entire export and import in one step we also have backup and restore command so if you want to backup your, your cloud configuration before you import new configuration into it you can also back it up with a command um, the tool also default by default backs up your command backs up your co configuration um, the second part is uh, you know once you have backed it up and you want to restore this configuration this restore from this backup configuration you can run the restore command you can also restore it, it uh, this configuration into a, a totally different cloud site as well using this restore command and finally you have the remove command which kind of removes all the components from the cloud so that you can start from a clean slate but please be very very careful in using this command Um, now, in order to migrate in stages, uh, you can also basically use the command that I just showed uh, only for some of the objects. So let's say if you want to migrate only the tags or policies or applications, you can use these flags like hyphen applications or hyphen group policy or hyphen tags to kind of migrate only uh, specific component as well, giving you really more control over how you are migrating objects. And if you want to recreate some things and not recreate in certain other aspects. Now, the second uh, part to the same puzzle is if you want to migrate, uh, you know, catalogs, but only let's say few catalogs, uh, you know, which have a particular regular expression or some pattern, you can use uh, commands like include by name or exclude by name uh, to mention that and, and put in the names in a comma separated manner um, and it can also have uh, uh, asterisk or uh, question mark as wild cards and another variant is uh, if you want to migrate applications by delivery group we support that flag as well so these are some of the flags that you can use to further uh, have more control over uh, your migration um, I would encourage you to please check out the documentation on Tech Zone, uh, our step-by-step -step POC guide there, as well as also on docs.citrix.com for automated configuration. It will greatly simplify and accelerate your migration to cloud by automating it, um, and not just uh, and it will serve as not just as a one-time migration tool, but also. Um, a mechanism to kind of automate your day-to-day -day cloud operations um, and even simplifying your disaster recovery. Thank you.